You tell me when you're ready. Yep. Yep. All right, so I'm, I'm going to show you Firefox for, for Android. So when you launch Firefox, um, you see Firefox start, which is your kind of your home page. It shows the tabs I had open last time. Tabs from other computers, which is interesting. I'll tell you more about that. And then some recommended add-ons. If you swipe um, over here, you see thumbnails for all my different tabs. So you can really easily switch among tabs in a nice way. So there's a Google Doc. I have my itinerary, an article about sports, and back to my start page, right? So um, if I'm looking at a web page, I can swipe the other way and see bookmarks, uh, one-click bookmark, left, uh, back and forward buttons, and some settings. So uh, what's cool about this is we have um, what we call our awesome bar, which means that when you start typing, it quickly knows where you want to go. So um, let me type a, a website. Um, EG, boom, so there's my travel agent that I go to often. Um, and what's interesting here so, is it doesn't matter if I've ever been to the site on my mobile before. If I've been to it on any of the computers that use Firefox, it knows. So we're synchronizing through the cloud, encrypted, all of my Firefox traffic and usage. Um, it's really powerful. So just to come back to um, what I showed you in the beginning, back to the start page, just button tabs for my other computers. So when I select that, you know, I have a Mac that I was using a few hours ago. I was booking a trip. So I have an itinerary, the seats on the airplane. I was reading about how to use my prepaid SIM card in Spain, uh, an intranet page. So, uh, you know, a whole bunch of stuff from all my different computers. There's a Nexus S I have, my, my, um, my PC, and a Galaxy Tab. So it's synchronizing across all those. So I can pick up reading where, where I left off whenever I want. Uh, and the other thing that's cool is support for add-ons. So popular add-ons like Personas, which let you skin your browser, um, and, and other ones like that support things like geolocation and other things. Uh, so if you're a developer, you might be interested in HTML5. So let me show you. Um, so this is just a web page that has some HTML5 demos. Um, we use the same browser engine on the PC and the mobile, which means your HTML5 stuff is going to work both ways. So let me show you a couple things that are cool. Uh, video. So uh, this, I'm going to show you, uh, cool, this is just a web page. And just like you can embed an image in a tag, you can embed a video in a tag. So the idea is, is a video on the web with no plugins. Um, it's just markup language. So, once I select it, if I hit that play button, there's a video playing, just no plugins, nothing, just a video tag, which is cool. And then I'll show you one other thing to wrap up, which is 3D graphics on the web. So this is really cool. So this is called WebGL, which is a language for describing 3D worlds and objects. So this is just a teapot, but you'll see a trick here. See how it slows down and then it speeds up. So uh, we're firing JavaScript events when you tilt the device. So the developer uh, can intercept those and, and act on them with very little code. So that's cool. Firefox 4 for users and developers. So it's all shiny. <laughs> so we also have Firefox running on Android tablets. Uh, um, oh, so here's a Google map. Uh, um, same thing, if I swipe over, I see my tabs, you know, Twitter feed, start page, some recommended add-ons. Same thing as you're seeing um, on, the, on, the, um, on the smartphone. So at the moment, it's the same interface. It's cool and it works really well. Um, I think over time, we may do some different things with tablets because you have more space, like make it uh, cool, like kind of panorama, like visual tab management and things like that. So we'll see. But at the moment, you know, you can go in the Android market and download Fennec uh, or Firefox betas and they'll work on tablets as well as smartphones.